So this video is going to be about my experience with trying to implement PM74s and BXP88s into my already existing trading table. So uh, I just finished uh, doing the last video and you can watch it to see what I had done and what I was trying to show. But uh, when I finished, I switched back to my new controller and always kind of retest the uh, my BXP88 or my PM74, whichever one it is. So anyhow, I'm going to plug the power in. And what you're going to see is you're going to see the power came on, but the net light did not come on like it should. And if you, if I go in and try to, to, to so I try to turn on power, track power. It shows the track power is on, but notice the net light and the track status are still off. doesn't matter. You can see them. One's red, one's yellow. You don't see those. So I'm going to turn this off for a minute. I am going to go into my part that was working just fine a few minutes ago. And I'm going to unplug it. While I unplug it, I am going to watch for a red light. I'm unplugging. You can see that I unplugged. And you can see that the red light came on. That would be the one that's next to net. So that's the symptoms I have with all the parts that keep burning out. And it's only these two types of parts that have the trouble, or have the trouble with me, or the trouble I've been experiencing. So I'm going to go turn on track power now. Same thing I did a minute ago. Track power, and now the yellow light came on. And I'm going. What I'm going to show, try to show, is the. Uh, PM74 still works fine with the exception of local net doesn't work. Again, same problem I've been having with the two types of parts. So I am going to go in to two. Track power is already on. I'm going to make select the knob I want, throttle. I'm going to select the engine number. Got it. So uh, what I want to show is the fact that what works on the device, what doesn't work. So if you just watched the previous video, You'll see flashing nicely, which means transponding is working. I am going to switch directions, run the train to the next zone. You get it, there's four zones here. There's one, two, three, and four. And I'm gonna show more of this than that. So right now, zone two is flashing. Move it to zone three. And the item that's interesting here is the fact if you watch the last video, you'll see that it barely flashed on zone three. Now that I have disconnected local net from the device, it's actually working differently than it did last time. At least that LED is flashing more than it did in previous video. And I'll go to the last. So there's four. And again, it's flashing. So this guy, I turned off the assist, turned off power is when I think it usually does it. Causes the something to happen to local nets when I turn power off. Previous video shows it working just fine. I turned power off. I switched out my command station to check to make sure everything still looked good. Uh, it did not. So uh, this guy has gotten bad just like these. So of the three BXP88s I originally had, I do have one of them installed, but these guys went bad the second time. And of my PM74s, all three of them that I sent back last time and got back, they all went bad again. So what have I come up with is the fact that, and taking my, this is the original uh, uh, power supply, AC power supply and the original command station I had, and I had six of them kind of go out with it. And then so I put it aside, grabbed a whole new command station and a new AC power supply. And basically I've had these guys all go out with it. That sets up, I do believe one of the PM74s that I got straight back from Digitrax and tried to bring up with this guy it had the same problem you saw with the red light coming on. So I believe while two of these went out, well connected up to here, and these guys went out 
connect it up to here with the DC power. So this command station and DC power took out two of these. And I believe one of these actually, when I sent it to Digitrax, they didn't really fix it because it came back in right off the bat. It never came on where the other ones would come on and then I turn power off. And then when I go to turn it on, like I just showed you, it wouldn't work anymore. So, um, as your track says, you can use your old equipment and add to it. I found that all, both of these separate systems both cause the same problems being the fact they take out or they cause problems to local net on these two types of devices, my experience.